Hi, I'm Michael Hill with K9 Chronicle TV, and I'm here with Johan Becerra, who just won the Honor Handle Counter League with Tanner here, right? Yes. And how old is Tanner? Tanner is three years old. Three years old. And um, he is from your breeding, right? Yeah, he's, uh, we've been breeding and breeding this Honor Handle Counter League for 35 years ago. Oh, wow. And we put it out, and we put it out. Yes. Yeah, we always be together, and uh, so yeah, so he all comes from all land. Oh, good. Well, like <laughs> so, um, when, when did you get started in golf? I started out in when I was around 12, 13, you know, when I was old enough to go I don't come from a family of dogs, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so, yeah, so when I came and I had the chance, so they, my parents told me they were leaving and they were the video of the night. <laughs> and uh, so that's how I started out in the site. I had uh, I bought a uh, graving uh, beach, uh, black beach. And that was my first little bit pretty good. So that's how everything started out. And that was in Venezuela? Yeah, it was in Venezuela. She didn't feel it, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so she learned a lot. Right? And, uh, and she really introduced me to this wonderful thing. Uh, so, you know, and ever since I've been from the So then how did you transition from the great gym to a basketball? Well, I was a handler at the time. I uh, handled several grids and one of my friends that I handled, he had buses and then he asked me to add a little coffee to go to the gym at the moment. And then I just bought them. I think they're the cutest puppies, you know, when they're like eight weeks. Yeah. <laughs> they just fall and roll and you yeah. like, who did that? Right? But they, they're the inside. They walk in and they roll and they look yeah. like, who yeah. did that? And yeah. uh, I said, that was so cute. Yeah. So I started out. So you were hooked. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I have to have this. And um, at the moment, you know, I was really, really young. I was studying uh, just for the veterinary and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, but you know, we're still trying. I, I, I have beautiful temperament bathes yeah. that may be correct. Yes. So I started around learning how they should be and then I came to the same and that's how I met Sandra. Okay. And then ever since, you know, I had I, I bought a dog from her. Mm -hmm. And that was my third the, the first dog I did best in show gave me one like eighty best in show. Oh my god. It was best dog green in Minnesota for three years in a row. And uh, and whenever place it took him like when it comes to it, it was like this perfect it was amazing. And then after that, you know, I keep doing dogs like every two years or two years, we had saw a different one. Yeah. And we did achieve like, I would say, more than 150 best in show so far, and uh, with many different dogs, uh, and I uh, won the nationals here, uh, winner dog, winner beat. So, you know, it's been, I, I wouldn't say, yeah, but it's been fantastic. Yeah. yeah, and it's probably a pretty cool thing that like, dogs have brought you to so many different countries and yeah. parts of the world. Is there a difference between dog shows, you know, in Venezuela versus Puerto Rico versus here, or are they well, you know, it depends on the rules, right? So, so all those countries are SCI, and I'm, I'm an SCI. Right. So, so it varies, and even with, yeah, within the same SCI show, it varies. Right? It depends on the international show or international show. But I think the essence is still the same, right? Yes. Who has the dog more similar to the standard and that's the other thing. So, so at the end, I would say no. Yeah. Even if it looks like that. Yes. Yeah. Like a different presentation. Yeah. Of the same way it's then, style, style. Yes. So, you know. Yes. But at the end, it's the same, right? So, we just have to follow the different standards. Right. But, uh, but I would say it's just fun. And you judge here in the United States yeah, as well? Yeah, I do, I do, I do my um, eight shows a year. I just go to the Boston National. Oh, wow. Here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a month ago. Well, you honor. Yeah, you do ask. Because, yeah. um, I've been a member of the club for 25 years, and, and then in the Basset Hound Club, it's a member's vote for who's going to go there. Wow. It was really, really, and really It was special. really, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, it really to be kind of in that position, you know, with your breed that yeah. you spend so much time with. You know, with this food, what, what were they going to do? What are the priorities? Well, you know, they're, they're monsters, right? They, they follow, and, and there are several things that are important. First, I think that's most important, and that happened in many groups, but in Basset particular, has got a great temper, you know. You've seen him talking, you know, walking around, say hi to the people like if they met him forever. Right. They are like that. Right. You know, that's right. He's that's, just hanging out. Yeah. Out here. Because, you know, <laughs> they're, they're, they're hunters, so they shouldn't be any different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, he's like, all right, you're yeah, my friend okay. now. But, 
Yeah. Right, he's coming home with me. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way it should be, right? Yeah. And yeah. That, so that's very important. And then, of course, they're specific on the beach. You know, they have a long head, yes. narrow long head, bodies. long body. They have to have like, the same distance from here. Yeah. Okay. And the ear is really low. Yes. The bones are wrapped around the chest and yes. the front. Oh, they, don't, the they don't move like that. Yes. Like they have a wrap around, so they move like oh, that. Really so close. not every breed supposed to have the same. No, way. not at all. The same gait. And and then they they should be able to be able to find you making them stand when they move around, yes. right? So they can just move to the chin, no? Because they have to do that. So gotcha. and uh, and in general, they do have. Or I mean, terms of things that help them when they are out in the field. Yeah. But you know, it's a, I wouldn't say that it's a difficult breed, but there are some things that are specific that you yes. get into. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining oh, us today. It was a pleasure you seeing you here, and congratulations on your win today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.